Today class, we'll be teaching you a vision guide for Habisham the poem. And our key question today is, who is Habisham? We will start by reading the poem and trying to dig deep. Beloved, sweetheart bastard, not a day since then I haven't wished him dead. Prayed for it so hard I've, ha I've dark green pebbles for eyes, ropes on the back of my hands I could strangle with. Spinster, I stink and remember. Whole days in bed going no at the wall. The dress yellowing, trembling if I open the wardrobe. The slowed mirror, full length, her, myself who did this, to me. Juice curses that are sounds, not words. Some nights better, the lost body over me. My fluid tongue in its mouth, in its ear. Then down till I suddenly bite awake. Love's hate behind a white veil. A red balloon bursting in my face. Bang. I stabbed at a waiting cake. Give me a male corpse for a long, slow honeymoon. Don't think it's only the heart that breaks. Okay, so start. Mrs. Fleur Jacobs, you are late to my lesson for the third time this week. Sorry. So, our first quote for today is, Beloved sweetheart bastard. It shows she still loves him, but she can't get over him. So he, she hates her. She's stuck in this love thing right now. What do you want now, Fleur? Nothing. Naughty corner. Right, second quote for today is Wish him dead, not sit a day that I haven't wished him dead. And ropes on the back of my hand I could strangle with. She shows it's linking, the whole poem is linking to how much she wants to kill him. Okay, our third quote for today is yellowing, trembling, if I open the wardrobe. It shows that she never moves or lives. She lives in this dress because she's stuck in there, right? You've got to get that in your head. The fourth quote for today is, give me a male corpse for a long, slow honeymoon. And now I'm just going to tell you, who actually is Havisham? Havisham is a woman who is left in an altar and it's all about her mental, physical state, all the way through the poem. And it shows how she coped with that. Okay. Miss Jacobs, are you talking? No. Can you guys tell me uh, who actually is Hamsham? Come on. Well, I think the poem is about how Miss Havisham uh, is coping with the rejection and how she never gets over it and never moves on in her whole life. She's just living in that dress and that like reminder of her husband, well, husband leaving her at the altar. So, ladies, now we'll be telling, what can we actually tell from these four quotes? Okay. So we're just going to get some stuff from this diagram, okay? And um, I'll come back to You've been good. Why don't you come write some things on the board? I think she's very angry and says it many times that she wishes him dead. It's um, it's quite sad that she just lives her life in her wedding dress. And I think it also shows that she's really tired of living her life like that. Okay. Thank you, Chloe. So, what can we see from these words? We need to expand on these words. We need to get some more detailed words, some more exciting, so from time we can get to exhausted and from depressing, distressed. distressed. Yeah, and from what else can we get? Some more heartbreaking, heartbreaking. That's lovely. Where, any other words? Melancholy. Get that one down as well. Here, yeah. all I've done is write for you. Um, I'd like to add something. Mm -hmm. We've talked about so many things, but we haven't talked about who Havisham actually is. Uh, Havisham is a, a woman from uh, Charles Dickens' book, Great Expectations. Oh